Huge fight for him against Movsar Evlev. He's our old friend, Triple A, Arnold Allen, the Almighty One. Hello, Arnold. Yeah, what's going on? Come on, ça va? Uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well. How's the French, by the way? Are you learning French? Are you taking lessons? Anything like that? Oh, <laughs> I did a little bit, but not, not for a long time. I gave up. Okay. <laughs> uh, how's the winter treating you over there in Montreal? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty mild, actually. Oh. There was a bit of a snowstorm yesterday, but I haven't been here for a couple of years for the winters. But from what I remember, it's not too bad. Oh, gosh. I think it's horrendous, if I'm being honest. Uh, growing up there, I, I hated it. Oh, I thought it was inhumane. Yeah. No, but the first time I came here, was like minus 40. <laughs> and it hasn't seen anywhere near that yet. So I feel like minus 10 was the worst. So. I'm enjoying that. <laughs> and uh, so are you Are you there full-time now, or is it just because this fight is in Toronto and uh, it's a little bit closer? Yeah, no, it just made sense for this camp uh, with the teammates and uh, obviously it being closer, being out here. Uh, yeah, it just made sense to be here for this one. Okay, and by the way, are we buzzing about Ipswich Town? I mean, this is an unbelievable... I remember you telling me about them. I feel like they were in League One or something, and now you guys are yeah, knocking yeah. on the Premier League door. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, the gap's closing to third place. But, uh, you know, they, they had a little rough patch over the holiday seasons where we lost the game and a couple of draws. Yeah. But still, they're playing great. And after getting promoted, but no one does that. They get promoted and they're now right. knocking at the door to get promoted again if they can keep it up for the rest of the season. They're killing it. Uh, they just had a nice showing in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me, I'm like a football expert at this point. I don't know if you know this about me, but we're like, we're fully in. In your lifetime, yeah. have they been in the Premier League? Uh, I haven't been to see them in the Premier League. Maybe when I was little. I can't remember when the last time they... I, I think when I was a kid. I'm going to feel like a real idiot now because I don't remember when they well, last some in the fan Premier you are, Arnold. I mean, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, yeah. it's nothing that you remember. No, definitely not. I remember most of the time when I was going to watch, it was always championship, championship. They were like mid-table, mid-tier championship for forever. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully mm. it happens for you guys. Uh, by the way, the merch is fantastic. I've seen it all over. Thank I, you. I saw the store. Uh, this is one of yeah. the... Uh, we're we're going to show... Uh, we have we have some pictures of some of your new stuff. Uh, the stuff is great. And of course, Pacers Gym, uh, that shirt, yes. which you were kind enough to send me, that's, that's an incredible design there. Who came up with that design? Yeah. Did you draw that yourself? We're showing big oh, pace right now. I definitely did draw it. <laughs> uh, average Joe Art. Average Joe Art. He killed it, man. He uh, he reached out to me after one of my a podcasts I did, and he, he offered to do some artwork. And, you know, you get art, people off of things all the time. And I was a bit like, a little bit skeptical. And I said, no, no, I have this amazing idea. You're going to love it. I was like, you know what? Okay. And uh, he did it. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. He did this one too. So. No, it's great. And yeah, we're, we're also but, seeing the other one that he did, uh, uh, Almighty's cooking blighty or something like that, right? This 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 yeah, logo yeah. here of your cooking show is fantastic. Yeah, right. He did that too. Um, that's my. Uh, I'm trying to get a side thing going where I'm like just cooking, and uh, it's funny because I can't really cook very well. So, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is your what is your specialty? Uh, a cheese on toast. Cheese on toast. Okay. Is that yeah. is that melted yeah. or is it just straight like a piece of cheese on toast? Yeah, melt it, yeah. Melt okay. it. Okay. Nice toast. Grate some cheese, melt it, and then if you're being real fancy, a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Wow. It's a tough word to say. Worcestershire. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Worcestershire. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Is that like a steak sauce? What is that? I don't know. It's just, I don't even know. It's just, it goes on cheese on toast. Does it? Okay. <laughs> and what kind of cheese? Because yeah. you said grated cheese. Just some crappy cheddar cheese, you know. Okay. Nothing fancy. Not like mozzarella or gouda or nothing. Crazy. And if you want to get real busy with it, put some baked beans on top of it. Then you got beans on cheese on toast. Wow, it's a real meal. That's very English breakfast of you with the baked beans. Oh, it's amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait to get home and make some. <laughs> is, is there any yeah. good English breakfast spots in Montreal? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not that I know of, anyway. But yeah. Hmm. All right, so you're doing all these things. So I feel like business is booming for Almighty. Yeah, uh, I haven't mastered the YouTube. I need to. Um, I need to. Well, I feel like I'm plugging now, but I need. I need to get some sponsors. I okay. need to get some sponsors. I'm giving out this good content for nothing. So 
you know, I want to do one of those VPN Express things or something. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped, yeah. Express VPN. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Give me some sponsorship. Okay. Is, <laughs> is there anyone out there like seeking these people or are you just waiting for them to reach out to you? Uh, I'm just, I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. It's about playing the long game. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, uh, we have not seen you since April. Uh, mm. Any particular reason why so long, or was that your choice? Uh, you know, I, I had some injury issues. I had to go back to the drawing board and fix some problems. Uh, and then it was what was offered. I was hoping to fight twice in that year, and uh, it was two offers of a short notice thing and then a really long notice thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, right, well, next year sounds better than two weeks. So was yeah. it two weeks? Uh, something like that, yeah. I was just like, no, no, I'm not ready to go. Yeah, that would have been smart. Yeah. Who was that against? Do you mind me asking? Same, same, same opponent, same opponent. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, oh, but like, come on, <laughs> what are we do here? Yeah. So it's um, it's Movsar Evloev that you're coming back against. A very tough out. Are you? Are yeah, you, yeah. You you cool with this? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely, I, you know, I'd be hiding in the hole if I wasn't cool with it. And uh, <laughs> no, I man, I just thought Max Holloway, he's a scary dude. Some of the shit he's done to, sorry, some of the things he's done to other opponents. You know, when you watch his highlights, and yeah, you don't want to be that guy where he's screaming in your face, saying I'm the best boxer and slipping your punches. Uh, that's that's scary. So I, I'm down to fight anyone. Anyway. I believe in my skills, my tools, and. And not in a way for a paycheck. I believe I can beat anyone, you know? So I believe in myself. Uh, do you have any regrets about the Max fight? About just, you know, how it went down, your performance? Like, things, that, like, is this a fight that took a while? You know, I remember you in our studio just a couple of weeks later. It was very fresh. Things that hmm. you thought about over time that you wish you could do over. Uh, no, not necessarily. I, I think the preparation went as well as it could have. Um, the regrets are... Things are out of my control, you know. All the things, the tangibles, all the things that I could do, I did as best I can. My teammates we were great. The camp was fantastic. And, uh, well, that wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> all the things I could control, I, I gave 100%. I didn't let myself down in that way. My team were great. And it's, you know, it just is what it is. Certain things played out the way they played out. It is what it is. Not to be annoying, but like, is there any part of you that looks like the path that Ilya Taporia got to the belt or a Sean O'Malley gets to the belt and you had to go through so many guys just to get to Max Holloway and not even get the title shot? Do you have any, mm. you know, sour feelings about that? Uh, no, no, not really. Because I'm a firm believer if you, you want to be the best in the world, you have to beat the best in the world, right? And uh, what does he say? The best is best. <laughs> yeah. You know, Max Max is the number two guy. Like however you look at rankings or whatever, he is if if you can't be Max, you can't be champion, in my mind. So yeah, yeah. So that's that's the litmus test. And for me, obviously I I failed the test and uh get a chance to go again and try and rebuild and get back there. I feel like you win this fight, like you're you're right back in the mix. Do you feel the same mm. or do you feel like it's gonna take a long road back? No, nah, no, that's exactly why I was more than happy for this fight. You know, he's a undefeated guy, a lot of noise around him, people hyping him up. So, uh, yeah, go and take that undefeated record and put myself right back in there. Does he impress you? Yeah, yeah, he's very good. Very good athlete, very good fighter. He improves every matchup, uh, gets better every time he's out. So, uh, I'm sure he's going to get even better from his last to this one. So, definitely, definitely impressed me. Are you a TriStar? Yeah, for this camp, yeah. Any any signs of uh, the big man George? Uh no 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 no. He had uh he was gonna come in to help, but he uh, um I believe he got an injury or something because he was gonna do a grappling thing the UFC oh, fight right. class. Yeah yeah yeah. He did a shoulder injury or something I believe I don't I don't know. Yeah yeah yeah. I don't know if I'm or so what. But no yeah, no no he, no that was that was yeah. public yeah I I mean he I see him going into ice baths every morning and things like that he looks yeah. to be in tremendous shape. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a lunatic with these. I, I mean, it's freezing out there, and he's going in an ice bath in the freezing cold. It's like it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, George, George is a huge inspiration. I think he's a he's a crazy guy, but um, you know the the shape he keeps himself in, 
how uh, disciplined he still is long into retirement. He's, you know, he's a real martial artist. He's still trying to learn, take care of his body. And, you know, it's, it's good to see. And speaking of which, you know, uh, MMA is a crazy sport with a lot of crazy character characters, excuse me. But right now, you know, we have representing the UK and representing the sport, Leon Edwards and Tom Aspinall as champions. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, they're two of the best that this sport has to offer. And I, as, as far as characters are concerned, I would put you in the same category as them. Role models, people that you want younger people to look up to and whatnot. When you see those guys have the success that they're having, does that feel like an inspiration to you too? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, you know, there, there's something similar with those guys. It's just like there's no there's no BS with them, you know. They, they are who they are. They go out and perform. And there's not a gimmick. There's not a, you know, they, they're not they're not trying to sell something and be something they're not. They're just themselves and which is good people, good role models. And, uh, you know, Leon, when I first went to, to renegade the train, he was helping me out huge and he won the title and he came back and he was teaching the class, the same guy, you know, he didn't change at all. Same as George. You know, people say George is one of the best ever. I, he's my goat, but you know, I came here and he was doing rounds with me, helping me for fights, giving me tips and, teaching Monday classes and he's the kind of guy who show up and like he didn't have a training partner he'd ask to go with like a you know a random guy that was doing a random session wow. like, oh you want a partner <laughs> and they'd be like uh <laughs> you know uh yeah it's it's nice to be surrounded by those like humble characters and respectful martial artists rather than you know you know the opposite sure 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 are, are you still uh, affiliated with Renegade yeah absolutely absolutely like uh when I'm back in England, I'm going to be training with the boys there. It's a great team, great setup. Can I ask your opinion on uh, this whole Ian Gary Renegade situation? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, just you know, I, my understanding looking into it, it just wasn't a, a good fit for the team and a bit weird. It, I only saw him there one time, so I didn't really get a feel for what was going on. So, did yeah, you get the sense yeah, that he was a bad fit? based on the things that, you know, they were saying with the cameras and all that stuff, like, did you feel like it was, it, it was not, not quite gelling? Yeah. Like when I was there, it was the UFC were there filming anyway. So it was like, okay. I didn't really notice what was going on. But, uh, I don't know. It's what it is, isn't it? If, uh, they're all grown men, they made the decisions. Like he wasn't fitting. It's what it is. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, and so, uh, when you when you're fighting on uh, January twentieth in Toronto, is uh, is your father going to be there? Is the big dog going to be there in your corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's kind of, I was just speaking to him a minute ago. He called me. He says he's not coming because the doors keep coming off the plane. <laughs> 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 he said, "Oh, actually, don't worry." What did he say? He said, "Don't worry. I just took my bedroom door off. If anything happens, I'll fill it in." I'm like, okay, Dad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When did when does he <laughs> arrive? uh tuesday the same day so he lands when i land okay and he'll he'll, yeah, yeah. he'll be in your corner yeah absolutely he has a, a great wrestling pedigree <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he helps lighten the mood a little bit oh it's amazing yeah it's um you know i have my my corner and uh there's two big guys and fraz and uh fraz is amazing we're about the same size so we work together but everyone plays their role, you know. My dad just, not technical advice or anything, but he, uh, just having him there, you know, just having your dad sort of watch you compete and watch your corner, uh, watch you from the corner. He doesn't have to say anything. Just knowing he's there watching it is, it's all the motivation I need. When when you saw uh, Tom give the belt to his father, was there any part of you, you know, dreaming of a scenario like that for you and your father? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I want. I've always visualized that. And yeah, so he's it's, it's, uh, really happy for him to see it. But like, uh, it was, that's exactly what I want. You know? Yeah, uh, that would be incredible. By the way, uh, the following month is uh, the 145 pound title fight, Alex versus Ilya. Mm. Do you have a, a pick in that fight? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't set a pick, but like, I, I don't like how soon uh, Volk's coming back after after that fight. Um you know, it was a, little, a few months ago now, but still, you know, then you should have probably took a long time out of the gym. Well, definitely not sparring. Mm -hmm. At least a month or something. 
and then to go straight back. But, you know, he's probably the kind of guy who went full ball straight into it. Hopefully he's uh, in tip-top shape. And Ilya's good, man. He's, he's a good boxer, good wrestler, good jiu-jitsu, solid black belt. It poses some good problems. So uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. I just hope, you know, Volk turns up tip-top and you get the best version of him and it's not like, you know, I, I hate to see his legacy fall apart because yeah, yeah. it's a silly, silly decision. Do you think in retrospect he shouldn't have taken that fight? I mean, obviously we know how it turned out, but like when when he took it, did you think, uh, oh, this is the juice isn't worth the squeeze here? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much money he made. Uh, I'm sure it's a dice more than I make. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you put me in the same situation, I'm going to take however, if it's 10 million, I, I could do with 10 million right now. That'd be nice. But, you know, he is the champion, the pound for pound king. So I'm sure those paydays are going to come again and again. So... I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, when I saw it, because he was, he posted something, he had stitches in his arm and he was like, like not training really. I was like, ah, oh, you know, he's injured. And then he took the fight. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Keep swearing, sorry. No, it's okay. We <laughs> could we could do whatever yeah. we want here. It's a crazy thing though, right? Because like the pound, like Terrence Crawford in boxing would never take a fight on two weeks notice. It's just not no, a I wouldn't, Right? <laughs> I wouldn't be considered. Right. Yeah. Also, there's no, uh, you don't see too many top boxes with YouTube channels, but yeah. That's true. That's true. It is a different world. <laughs> what about Big Francis yeah. going up against AJ? You think he has a chance? I, you know what? I think he has less of a chance against AJ than he did against Tyson. Wow. Um, I really, I, I think Tyson's a better boxer than AJ. Styles do make fights. But I think Tyson and just knowing like some of the people he's around, the team, those guys, I know 100% that they were looking, for sure, they were looking at that fight and being like, you're going to kill him. Don't worry about it. Right. It's, it's going to be a shock. You know, and uh, I feel that had to be the mentality. You could see the look on his face when uh, he came back to the corner and he was just like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. what's, what's, why is he not knocked out yet? So, yeah, it was, uh, but yeah, I think AJ would do, do a lot better. And I think AJ wins, to be honest. But what a story for uh, Francis. What a story. It's unbelievable. And and also probably AJ, after what he just saw, is not going to take him lightly. And probably it's a feather in AJ's cap if he can knock him out, stop him, yeah. and say, I did what yeah. Tyson couldn't do, right? I feel like AJ's going to be super yeah, motivated. Yeah. And for me, I don't know if he's got the same mentality, but like, there's nothing scarier than fighting a guy. Everyone is saying, you're going to kill this guy. This guy's crap. Like You're going to smash this guy. You can't box. You can't do this. There's nothing scarier than that. Because it's like now anything less than going out and schooling this guy is a letdown. So, yeah, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather fight the best guys in the world, and it'd be a bit like, you know, that's uh, that's not so scary. That's what I want. It's a wild time in boxing. I see you tweeting about it from time to like all these cards being put together and the promoters working together and all that. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, man, it's really cool. And I got a a homegrown guy actually Fabio Wardley heavyweight heavyweight champ I don't know if you saw him on the on the last time but I did yeah a lot of talks if you're talking about Portman Road so he could uh, I'm sure eventually he's going to end up boxing at Portman Road you know it's going to be pretty cool that's uh, Ipswich Town Stadium yes and uh, has there yeah. ever been a boxing event there I don't think so I think Ed Sheeran performed there once ah that is sick <laughs> but yeah yeah, that'd be awesome. It'd be really, really cool. Is that the same venue where My Chemical Romance played? No, that was uh, MK Don Stadium. Oh, where's that? <laughs> uh, Milton Keynes. I don't even know where that is either. Big football fan, huh? Oh, <laughs> which which club? Which club? MK Don's. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, of course, MK Don's. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what are they? Yeah. What, what are they? Uh, National League. Yeah, yeah. Okay. juniors. Okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, by the way, I had yeah. to ask you about something you tweeted about recently. Um, someone wrote thoughts on the Tesco's most popular meal deal at the moment, uh, and yeah. it was, um, this is it, we have it up on the screen here, the nation's go-to combo is a Tesco sausage, bacon, and egg triple, uh, McCoy's yeah. flame-grilled steak grab bag, and a Coca-Cola original taste. And your response was, just doesn't make sense. So yeah, yeah, what's the problem? Terrible. It's terrible. What well, the crisps or chips? Mm -hmm. They're good, but the rest is like what the? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I stopped. I've stopped eating pork for a couple of years now. Oh. So people get really upset when I say that for some reason. No, I love <laughs> especially, it. 
especially in England, especially in England, because it's like, you know, England, all our dishes, it's all pork, everything's pork, like, you know, all the main things, pork pies, we, it's like bacon sandwiches. And I just kind of like fancied stop eating pork. I was like, eh, I don't want to eat pork anymore. And I found a piglet, I think I told you, mm. I had a pig, a little piglet in the in the road and the, I was just like, you know what, I, I can't eat that. I don't want to eat that. And uh, everyone seems to get a little bit upset when I say I don't want to eat pork. So, I don't know. I've never had pork. Would you believe it? I, yeah. Yeah, I would, I would believe okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it we, you know, we don't, uh, you know, my people, we don't love the pork. Uh, yeah. So what is your go-to? Uh, you know what? I've been on the turkey bacon now. Okay. Turkey bacon. See, the turkeys can get it. I'll, I'll eat turkey all day. <laughs> But, um, yeah, turkey sandwich, chicken, chicken stays. Uh, yeah, no, I, I eat everything else, just not pork. Okay, but, like, if I was going – because we, we just went to Tesco. Um, mm -hmm. We were there. We went to Manchester for the um, for the, the KSI fight against Tommy Fury yeah. and, and Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis. And uh, our producer here, uh, Connor, he was so – his first time in England – and because of mm -hmm. you, because you made it so famous, he was so excited yes. to go to Tesco. He was walking up and down the aisles, just like taking it all in. And so I was Absolutely. just wondering, the next time we go, what should be the the go to that we go like we we what's the combo that we should go with? Yeah, uh, you need high value. So sometimes you get the triple sandwiches. Hmm. You get three sandwiches. So somewhere out there, there's a missing sandwich, <laughs> or they probably put it in another triple box. Right, right. Chicken, triple, chicken triple is is the best. But obviously, trying to avoid any pork combinations. Sure. Chicken triple, three different chicken types. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. And oh, what is it a boost duo, boost bar duo? So then you get two boost bars in one. Okay. And one of the naked smoothies. Uh, I like the blue one because they're like, and it's the highest value, I think. But a lot of Tesco's have a, a Costa attached to it, a Costa coffee. I don't know if you've ever oh, had of one course. of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can get a hot drink sometimes in your meal deal. So, yeah. Okay, and what's that the boost? What's the boost bar? Is like a protein bar? Uh, I don't know. It's just a chocolate bar that okay. tastes really good with caramel in it. Oh, nice. I mean, it's definitely not a protein bar. They used to market like a sports fit. No, there's no. It's a chocolate bar. Okay, fair yeah. enough. So that okay, that's the go-to. And when's the last time you've had this? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while, like a long time, <laughs> too long. Okay, perhaps that's the victory mm. meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be. I'm flying straight home to. Uh, actually, no, I'm flying to Amsterdam after the fight. Yeah. Why? Why? Why Amsterdam? Vacation. Uh, well, will be, but no. Um, <laughs> so I'm going back to England for a while after, and uh, the UK is one of the places you can't fly direct with pets in cabin, and I refuse to put like my my pet under the plane. So I'm like, all right, okay, we have to go somewhere. You can. There's loopholes. You can fly to like Paris. You can fly to Belgium. You can fly to Amsterdam, and then take a train in. To the uk without oh you know, quarantining your dog or cat or whatever yeah so it's like that's what we're doing and it's also my birthday when i land there so yeah okay yeah yeah and and by the way did you get a new pet no we have the cat we have the cat okay that's oh we know about the cat the cat is infamous yeah, yeah. yeah. okay i thought maybe there was a new dog will you get a new dog no. uh it's hard with traveling it's easy to travel with a cat but yeah maybe when i'm settled down when i'm settled down Okay, fair enough. Um, all right, well, you're back. I think this is very exciting. Uh, you, yeah. you, uh, you, you're looking for a big year. In fact, I did a, another show where my uh, my colleague predicted that you would be the comeback fighter of the year. You would have a huge year, undefeated, get back into that title picture, perhaps even grab that belt by the end of the year. What do you say? I'll tell you that. Sounds good to me. Yes, uh, and then we'll get some sponsors on the YouTube channel. We'll get some more merch out there. It's all going to come up for you. Yeah, just picture it. Guys, this video is brought to you by some VPN thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to happen. Secure your web browser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it, Arnold. Uh, well, And by the way, uh, a, little, uh, a little cheeky orange julep perhaps before uh, going back home or no? Nothing? Time for that. But uh, I've got some friends out in Toronto who are going to... Uh, are you going to be out in Toronto? No, I'm not. 
Okay. I've got some friends out there that are going to they promised me some good food after. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Have you ever been to Toronto? Yeah, a few times, a few times. Okay. Actually, last time I was there, I was with um, the uh, the late Elias. So he was hosting He was hosting um, McGregor Mayweather. I uh, oh. can't remember where it was. He hosted it. It was like his night, like a Q&A with Elias, and uh, he invited me down there. That was last time I was there, actually. Wow. Yeah. Um, mm. well, I look forward to you coming back. Uh, you, you are an adopted son of Canada. So hopefully, uh, they treat you as, as one of our own. I'm going to, I'm going to let the word out there, you know, <laughs> that, uh, that they yeah. should, they should pop hard for you over there. And, uh, I look forward to a big year from you. Thank you as always for coming on Arnold. Uh, good luck to you in the last few days of training and good luck on the 20th of January. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. All right. There he is. Arnold Allen, the almighty one. Uh, great to have him back. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.